Okay, so I threw a question out on social media and I asked you guys, what Christmas songs do you want to learn? And I was really surprised that Carol of the Bells was one of the most requested songs. So of course, I'm going to teach you how to play Carol of the Bells. Now this song can be quite a complex song when it's, you know, kind of fully and originally arranged. So I've got a simplified version of Carol of the Bells that everybody can enjoy. And once you develop this foundation, you can of course get fancy and add your own spin to it. So normally I teach our song tutorials using a lead sheet. But for this one, we've got a full score. Just so that you can know what to do with the left hand, I think that the parts between the left and the right are quite important in this song and in this arrangement. So don't worry, we've got chord names above each measure for you to reference if you prefer to learn that way. And the theme to this is very simple. So we're gonna start with a C, and then we're gonna go B, C, A. Basically, that's the whole song. Now, I dare you to see how long you can play that just by itself before you go crazy. <laughs> so we're gonna add in some chords. So you've got four measures of this theme and you wanna be quiet with it. Now your left hand is gonna play A and there's actually an A minor listed above the measure so it gives you a hint so if you don't like reading notes, you can, for this song, it'll work to follow along with that. And then you're going to step down to G with your left, step down to F, and then E. And then you repeat that. Now guess what? We're going to keep repeating that. And our left hand's going to play F and A. So we're going to have a little harmony happening. And then we're going to play E and G. And then D and F. And then A and C. So I, the song doesn't repeat that, but I'm going to show you that once more because you're going to want to use three and one, two and four, five and three, and then your whole hand moves. So once you've got that, you're going to move to F, and we're going to play three of those. This is a little hand independence moment. So one, two, three. tricky if you're a beginner. So just take it slow and then things begin to change a little bit. So we get to bust out of our little theme here and move to E. Same movement but it's in a different spot so it gives a different feel. And our left hand's gonna play E, F sharp. Now we're gonna be moving around a bit. This guy stays the same. G, F sharp, E. Great hand independence moment. It also sounds a little crunchy, but that resolves itself here where things get exciting. So we're gonna take it slow, but this is what it's gonna sound like. It's super pretty, and I think this is what makes the song the song. Well, actually, no, the, le now, the next line too. It's getting exciting. Okay, so we'll go to A. We repeat it one and two and three and as we step down. Then we're gonna play E, one and two and three. I cross over with my two to C, and then we've got D, 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 E, D, C, B, C, and then you can just bop your thumb down to A. And then you just play the chord notes um, in your left hand, so. Then you move to D. You got that section, and then finally, going to play an E scale. It looks like this complicated notation, but all it is is a scale. So it's an E major scale, which is a little bit complicated, but it's okay. I'll walk you through it. E, F sharp, G sharp, tuck your thumb, A, I'll play that clean, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, and then you uncurl, B, C, D, E, D, C, and then you repeat it. And you can play and hold a fifth in your left hand. And then, this theme, we're back on C here with our third finger. And our left hand's just playing really heavy octaves. So the same notes as the beginning of the song, but we're doubling them up. And then we're gonna come to that third, F and A, E and G. D and F, and then we're gonna 
land on a full octave on the A here. And you're gonna just hang out there for a really long time. And then just when everybody thinks the song is over, you're gonna come back. <laughs> So there you have a very simple but fun version of Carol of the Bells to get you started with this awesome song. So you can download the sheet music for this for free. It's just below the lesson. Um, enjoy, happy practicing, and let me know what you think.